two, one, and we're off. So welcome to my 21 minute practice routine specifically devoted to long shots. I've split up the 21 minutes into three seven minute segments. And as you can see in the video right now, I've already started out with the first exercise, which is random long shots, most of them from the short rail. Um, the second segment is a specific shot where I aim for short position. And the third segment is the same shot with the goal of getting long position. I mean long as in the other side of the table. And I'll be talking through most of the video. I'll be sharing a lot of thoughts and reflections about long shots. I'll explain the things that I do, basically things that I think a lot of players will benefit from. Because the clue here is not the exercises themselves, but it's more about the approach to practice. So the first exercise is just random long shots, and at first glance it may look a bit meaningless, but this, for me, has a specific function, which is to raise awareness about the most important aspect of long shots. And this is something a lot of players are aware of, but somehow I think a lot of us don't use enough time to really implement it. And that thing is composure. Composure as in staying still. So in this segment I just place random long shots and most of them are fairly straight in and I really focus on staying still during the shot. Oh and there's one more thing that is really important. So keeping your composure is not only staying still with your body, it's also keeping your eyes locked in on the target, making sure you stare really hard at your aiming point and that you don't look away or blink during the delivery. So this video is recorded in one take. I've kept all of my misses to show you my current level and as you guys know, I'm just an average player, I'm sharing my thoughts on the game through this channel. I miss shots, I miss a lot of shots, just as other average players do. And that brings me to the next topic, which is the rules that I've set for these practice routines. These are rules or guidelines that are critical in order to practice with purpose. I think the rules are something a lot of players need to hear. Um, especially players like myself that don't have a lot of time to practice. But before we look at the rules, let's go through the exercise in the second segment of this routine. Like I said in the beginning, I've split up the 21 minutes into three 7 minute segments. So the next exercise is drilling a specific shot. And you can choose the shot that I chose, but I think it's better if you find a specific shot that you know you need to work on. So in this shot, I'm trying to pocket the ball and play position for the 8 ball. And I need to limit the angle of the cue ball coming out of the short rail in order to avoid the scratch. And that's why I'm applying just a touch of right spin. Um, this straightens the cue ball when it hits the rail, leaving me good shape for the 8 ball. Man, I know it's a risky shot. Um, I'm kind of flirting with the scratch there, but it's the best solution as far as I can see. So remember to stay composed during the shot, stay still, stare at the target when you deliver the cue, don't jump up. These are the things that really helped me during my tournament last week. I pocketed balls I've always used to miss during pressure, so this really helps. And that brings me to the rules that I've set for my practice routines, which are um, rule number one, always remember your pre-shot routine. Really guys, it's all about the quality, not the quantity. Um, I see a lot of people, a lot of pool players doing drills. Um, they're playing a lot faster than they are during competition. They're not really taking their time on each shot. Um, I think if you see a lot of pool players, um, pro players play, whenever they face a tough shot, they take their time. They really stand behind the shot, focus, concentrate. And the pre-shot routine is a critical part of that process. Um, and rule number two is no phones, no distractions, no talking to other people. And if you need to use your phone as a timer, um, you really should put it in flight mode. Just trust me, you'll be a lot more efficient if you're able to devote your entire attention towards the drill. And rule number three is basically what I rattled about in the first segment, which is stay composed during the shot. 
Um, stay still, don't get up. Your main focus should be these rules. Just follow these guidelines and you'll pocket more balls and you'll be prepared to meet these situations during real games when the pressure is on. Since you're basically playing in the same way you would do during a match. So now we've entered the last segment of the routine. I'm playing the same shot as in the previous segment, but this time I need to play position to the other side of the table. So I use top left this time, and obviously I need to hit it a lot firmer. Oh, and by the way, um, you can see I use a really long pause at the backswing. Um, it's just something that I feel helps me with my composure. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something you also use or if you're aiming for a more fluent motion. I've played two tournaments now with this type of pause and for me it's really helped since I've had a habit of swinging my body sideways during the delivery. Um, by pausing I can sort of resist that movement. Um, okay, so until now I've shot this ball with top left. Um, now I'll switch things up. If I use low left, I'll be able to take this route. And I think it's important to practice shots in different ways. Um, that'll help you get a feel for different shot types and routes. After practicing both these variants, I really like the second one. Um, it allows me to hit the cue ball with a lot more authority, as you can see here. Um, plus, position is almost guaranteed, since the left spin on the cue ball slows the ball down when it reaches the other side. So to sum things up, here are the exercises I did in this routine. Also, remember to follow the rules that I've set. Um, by following these rules, you can expect an interesting feeling at the end. Um, it sort of reminds me of the relaxed state I end up with after meditation, so I highly recommend that you try this out. 